Are we starting now? Yeah. Oh my god, I feel so weird. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan and this is a look in what's in my backpack. So the bag that I take to work every day is the Lululemon Para Backpack. It's a great backpack because it's super durable. It's made out of nylon so it's weather resistant and it looks cool and it's super, super comfortable. I work full time so I have to commute every day and Toronto's weather has been super weird lately. It's been raining and snowing a lot so I like to be prepared for whatever weather there is. On the side, I actually carry an automatic umbrella. It's super quick to open and close, so I definitely recommend getting one of these. And on the side compartment, there's actually a, another zipper over here. It looks small, but it actually carries quite a bit. So in this uh, compartment, I actually carry around my sunglasses, um, some mints, band-aids, lip balm, and uh, tokens, just in case that Presto card doesn't work. On the other side of the backpack, I actually carry a water bottle. It's just a blender bottle, so it's always good to have some water on you. And also, on that little zipper compartment, I carry around my camera. So the camera that I carry is the Canon G7X. I actually carry it around in this hard shell case that I got off of Amazon, because um, it's shockproof, it's waterproof, and it's water resistant. Sorry, um, but it's a great case, and I'm not worried about damaging the camera. The next thing about commuting, especially on the TTC, is when you need to grab stuff, you don't want to take up too much space. So the backpack's actually great with that because it's got this compartment right in the front. It's super easy to grab everything that you need and the way that I make it a little bit easier is I actually carry everything inside this cable organizer. You know, I got my headphones, I got the camera charger, um, my cell phone charger, a mouse, my MacBook charger, and an external hard drive. So when I'm commuting, I definitely like to read a book and I do all of that inside my Kobo Aura H2O. The Kobo Aura H2O is a awesome e-reader. It's definitely light, it's easy to hold and the battery lasts forever. So this is definitely what I use to kill my time on the commute. Also in the front of my backpack, I carry an SD card holder. Um, it's great because it has space for, it's great because it has space for 12 SD cards. And just like a lot of things that I carry around, or it's waterproof and shockproof and weather resistant. And that brings us down to the main compartment. So recently I started working full time and I definitely want to start saving some money. So I started packing a lunch and being environmentally friendly, I got a glass Tupperware along with metal utensils that I can wash. So at work, there's definitely impromptu meetings, so I definitely like to carry around a clipboard. And along with the clipboard, I carry something called the Stay There mobile office. It's a great kit because it has all the pens you need along with sticky notes so you can keep yourself organized. So when I have some time to sit down I like to organize my notes and to do so I carry around a bigger pencil case. This pencil case carries all of my other fine liners, um, some more highlighters, some sticky notes, and all of your basic office tools that you need. And for my daily driver I've been using a MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is actually the 2011 model. I've been using it for quite a while uh, But the reason why it's still going strong is I actually upgraded internally I included a solid-state drive and also increased the RAM So if you have an old laptop and it's not moving as well as it used to I definitely recommend doing that before you go buying a new one This definitely helps you save some money and it is a great upgrade for your computer And last but not least I have a secret project that I've been working on um, I'm not going to tell you guys about it right now, I'm still working on it, but if you're definitely interested, hit that subscribe button and you can hear more about it. And that's everything that I got on my bag. Um, everything that we talked about today, I'll definitely link those in the description down below. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up for me. And if you want to hear more about my project or uh, the other videos that I'll hopefully be putting out, um, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching my first video. I felt super awkward making this. Uh, have an awesome day.